A 40-year-old woman presents with severe abdominal pain, fever, and confusion. Yesterday, she started to have worsening right upper quadrant pain with nausea and vomiting. This morning, she has been slow to respond and is confused about where she is. The patient has a history of depression and takes sertraline. Temperature is 103.4 Fahrenheit, blood pressure is 88 over 50, pulse is 104, and respirations are 26. She appears ill and confused, and the sclera are icteric. Which of the following is the most likely underlying cause of this patient's current condition? So this patient is presenting with a severe abdominal pain in the right upper quadrant. She has fever, altered mental status, and she has signs of shock. Her temperature is 103.4, her blood pressure is very low, and her pulse is elevated, as well as her respiratory rate is also elevated. So these are all signs of shock. And she also has signs of jaundice. Her sclera are icteric. Now her symptoms are going to be consistent with acute cholangitis. Remember the charcoal triad with acute cholangitis. So we're going to have fever, right upper quadrant pain, and jaundice. Now in severe cases, we can have the renal pentod. So in addition to these three, we can also have hypotension and altered mental status. So in the question stem, this is what our patient is presenting with, with the renal pentod. There can be many causes of acute cholangitis, but the most common cause is going to be a stone obstruction of the common bile duct. And so this is going to be called choleidocholelithiasis, when we have a stone that is obstructing the common bile duct. So normally bile flows from the liver into the intestines, but if we have a stone that is obstructing, then there can be a back above bile into the liver and this bile can then travel to the systemic circulation through the hepatic vein and this can ultimately cause jaundice. And this is important because if there's a stone that is obstructing the flow of bile, it essentially creates a closed system that allows for bacteria to proliferate and this can cause sepsis and shock. So to answer the question, the answer choice is going to be B, which is going to be a calculus obstruction of the common bile duct. Now the distractor here in this question was answer choice E, which is medication overdose with hepatic failure. Now acetaminophen overdose can also present with right upper quadrant pain, jaundice, and altered mental status, as well as vomiting. So this is very close in presentation to a acetaminophen overdose. But the key information that tells us that this is not a acetaminophen overdose is the fact that her temperature is 103.4. So we would not expect fever with an acetaminophen overdose. As a result, the best answer choice is going to be B.